And good evening, everybody, to the BWRL GT3 Sprint Championship presented by NC3D. Uh, this is round six at Sebring. It's previously going to be Brands Hatch, but uh, I left out on the loop on why we uh, made that change. Uh, but Sebring's, Sebring International is uh, really awesome, so can't wait to see what goes on here. Uh, on the timing screens, we're just changing over to qualifying, and it looks like qualifying is going to be 10 minutes. Uh, so we'll definitely get to see who pops out first. I'm going to guess it's going to be... Who was it last time? Eric Rodriguez. Possibly Eric Rodriguez. But it's not Eric Rodriguez. Out there. Oh. Let's see who that is. Oh, we're just finishing that up now. I think it was for participation numbers. Not sure I understand. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, not a lot of people have Brands Hatch. Yeah, that would make sense. All right, taking a look to see who went out first. And that is Trey Mistak. I was calling Eric Rodriguez. I believe he was the driver last I saw in round four to go out first. But everyone's going to be on their out left. they got ten minutes to qualify. It's going to be a full uh, qualifying session where everybody gets a chance. Not single use on the track. People up to their own devices. Uh, my vote is on Matt taking pole. He was doing numbers at practice yes you bring over brands up oh. gonna i'm gonna agree with you on that one looking at the numbers we had seven drivers get into the 159 and one driver did the 158.9 and that was uh matt shack so it will be very interesting indeed trey mistak was just behind him trailing off by only two tenths i believe so it's going to be a very heated battle here. We have a lot of drivers that are very close. Those seven drivers that were in the 159s. And then after that, we had most of the grid in the two-minute marker. Anywhere from the start to, uh, you know, nine-tenths to the 201s. And then a couple people in the 201s. And then I think only one person actually failed to get into that. It was a 202, but quite impressive to see that will be a very good race to watch. And as he's about to start his first time lap, we will jump on board with him. And I am changing up the audio just a little bit. It's just get more punch out of the cars. You can hear it a little bit better. If that drowns out my commentating, that's a good side effect. Honestly, who wants to listen to me sometimes, but here we are on board with, in the GT3 Huracan with Trey Mistak.
Trey Mitzak to be the first drive across the line with a timed lap. Taking a quick look at him, he does, goes down the Omen straight into Sunset Bend. Ironically, the only two corners I or corners, only two parts of the track I know by name. The rest gets kind of muddy, especially in Sector Two. As Trey Misek crosses the line, we're going to need to see a 159 from him as he goes 159.6. It's on the top of the charts just briefly. Uh, as Aubrey, as Justin F. Scott goes to P2, just actually gets to go. Overtaken, overtaken. Everybody's jumped through the line here. Trey missed it. Matt Shack goes to P1 already with a 159.3. Followed by Trey Mistek. Paolo Langer takes P2 with a 159.6. Uh, Trey Mistek stays P3. Tyler Anderson to P4. Will Kofi in uh, Coffee, sorry, in P5. Aubrey Kundal in P6. Miller Durajo in P7. Craig Carroll in P8. Uh, Justin F. Scott goes to P9. Andrew Kirk, 5. Uh, must be a lot of Andrew Kirks in the league. Or it just didn't change it. Uh, Andrew Korostecki in P11. Eric Rodriguez in P12. Steve McAllister in P13. Chris Lambeth in P15 now. Everyone jumped up a little bit as we have uh, Eddie Layton coming in hot with the uh, P8. And then Sean Hamilton in... Uh, P16 with uh, several drivers not set a time just yet. Why don't you jump on board with one of them? Colin Luckhurst goes to P9 with a 2 minute point two. Justin Carp on bo board with this driver. And see what he can do. We have Five drivers that have yet to set a time just yet. Uh, this is definitely his in lap. Let's see what's going to happen here. And nothing is shaken up on the board just yet. We have Miller Duraho going about half a second faster as Andrew Kirk crosses the line, goes to uh, P10, Justin Scott overtakes him for P9. Miller Durajo goes to P2. Paolo Langer to P3. Will Kofi overtakes Tyler Anderson for P6. Eric Rodriguez overtaking Andrew Korsecki for P13. And Andrew Korsecki overtaking Eric Rodriguez for P13. Just a little swap up there. A couple drivers making the changes. Even if it's just one position, some of them are making that happen. As Justin Karp rounds the final corner, is he, I don't think, a little, I think he just touched the wall right there. Where is he gonna shake up on the leaderboard? Is he gonna be in the teams? Top, hey, P14 for Justin Karp. And Joshua Grasso already, I think he's going to park it. He, pop, he puts that thing into P2 for Joshua Grasso. Uh, I've seen a lot of good overtakes from him. Colin Luckers gets one position with the P11 overtaking Andrew Kirk. But we have somebody on a flyer right now, and that is Trey Mistak, who is, P, is P5 right now. But he's a full 1.3 seconds faster on this lap as he goes down into the Omen straight. I think he can keep this going. He's got a 1.4 second gap now. And with this kind of lap, it could shake things up quite a bit at the top spot there. Matt Shack has not opted to continue running. He did a 158.999. Trey Misek across the line. Goes P2 with a 159.292. Oh, even with that flyer of a lap, it just wasn't enough to overtake Matt Shack. As we jump on board with Craig Carroll in P13, he's eight tenths faster on this lap. Same with Andrew Korstecki, who's just a couple of tenths off of him in P15. 
Now, what can Craig Carroll do here? We got one minute and 10 seconds left. And Craig Carroll has been able to keep this pace. He still is, actually, he, I think he just gained a little bit extra. He's now a full second faster. He did, his last lap was a two minute point five. So put him in the 159s. Up there in the top 10, Craig Carroll goes to P8, overtaking Tyler Anderson for that spot. But Tyler Anderson is on a flyer of his own. He's six tenths up. And at this moment in time, oh, whoa. Trey Mistak has continued to push and push he shall. He's 1.5 seconds faster on this lap as he is going down the Omen straight. Are we gonna see the position go to him? Provisional pole. That would shake things up for Matt's race, having to battle someone out for the top spot down into turn one as Trey Mistak goes through. Is it gonna be enough? He's still 1.5 seconds faster. Was there a track limit violation? It is not enough. He does a 159.1, even though he was faster on that lap. It is not enough. Beat out Matt Shack for the top spot as Joshua Grasso goes one spot down. And then Eddie Layton in P11. But he's eight tenths up right now. Eric Rodriguez goes to P14, overtaking Justin Carpet and Andrew Gorstecki. We have Patrick Gannon, David Gauntlet, and Noah Hoskinson have not formed a single lap. And you hope that Patrick Gannon would. He's only, I think, 30 to 50 points behind in the championship behind Matt Shack. Matt Shack could run away with the championship on this one. Unless Patrick Gannon can really just push through the field if he does end up starting in the back of the grid. It's going to be a very difficult race for him as Eddie Layton goes through. Uh, P11 for him does not approve on his time. Sean Hamilton goes up one position there over Gary Schilling. And Noah Hoskinson is able to put in a banger right at the end. P11 for Noah. If Patrick Gannon is in the pit lane but has not gotten a time on the board that is unfortunate for him. He is P2 in the championship for the pro cl uh, class. Joshua Grasso crossing the line, not improving upon his time. <clears throat> and there we go. We have the re race results. We have most of the pros sitting in the top 10 there uh, with a couple of, you know, outliers. Colin Luckhurst, Eddie Layton, and Patrick Gannon. Uh, Patrick Gannon probably just arriving late to the, the race there. Um, but we have Matt Shack P1, Trey Mistak, P2, and that's team, uh, Jack Stack? Stack Shack? I forget. Uh, Joshua Grosso, P3, Millie DeRajo in P4, uh, Paolo Langer in P5, Aubrey Condal in P6, Will Kofi in P7, Craig Carroll in P8, Tyler Anderson P9, uh, Andrew Kirk, 10, Noah Hoskinson in 11, Eddie Layton in 12, Justin F. Scott in 13, Colin Lokers 14, Eric Rodriguez in 15, Jessica Carp in 16, Andrew Korsecki in 17th, Chris Lambeth is in 18th, Steve McAllister 19, Sean Hamilton 20, and Gary Schilling 21. Patrick Gannon and David Gauntlet have not set uh, a time, so it will probably go to uh, David Gauntlet sitting in 22, and then Patrick Gannon in 23. But uh, we'll see once that shakeup happens on the grid. We are done with qualifying and we're about to start this race.
And while we wait for this grid to form up, got a couple drivers that still haven't formed. Uh, Patrick Gannon is in P22 over uh, Dave Gauntlet, uh, starting in the back of the pack. Uh, up at the top is going to be the last lap, the LL, for when we do get started and they go into the first lap, time lap. Uh, if you see it's purple, that means they're the fastest driver on the grid. Uh, if it's green, it means they've improved upon their time of their latest lap. So. After the initial chaos of the first lap, we'll definitely get some better race direction out of me. Sure, as Trey Mistak and Matt Shack are rolling. A little bit. Matt Shack a little bit in the background. No. Not wanting to push it forward. And we got drivers all swerving out of the way. I don't know what is happening. But there goes Matt Shack at the front. Probably want to take a look at Joshua. Rosso's angle here. Maybe better. As we get started. Great, great, great. And the grid is going to shake up as Joshua Grasso goes to P2 already. Trey Mistak has another driver, Paolo Langer, down on the inside as his teammate is also there on the inside. What is going to happen into turn three? It looks like Trey Mistak is still ahead. Not at all. Somebody just dived on the inside and they just got thrown through that there. I believe that driver is Miller Durajo and he is dropping down the order. Another driver is also dropping down the order. But Trey Mistak able to keep P3 and hold off and defend against Paolo Langer. I believe his teammate uh, is gone. Just out of the mix of that entirely. But Joshua Grasso doing well to get off, off the line like that and take P2. Now he's going to be able to push against uh, Matt Shack, And Trey Mistak is going to have to have the lead against all these drivers formed a train right behind him. And that is going to be difficult as we have Patrick Gannon already up several positions from P22. He's in P20 or P15 right now. And we're definitely going to be seeing some overtakes happen from this driver. He is second in the championship. It's Gary Schilling overtakes. Galitzer, another driver that just went off there. Is that David Gauntlet? No, that is Miller Durajo uh, overtaking. Gary Schilling went off at that corner. And Colin Luckhurst from P14 to P11. He's already making up some good positions as well. And back on board with the, the chance to take P1 from Matt Shack going to Joshua Grasso at this moment in time. And then Patrick Gannon, who just overtook Eric Rodriguez for P... Uh, P4? 13. Interesting. Oh, no. Paolo Langer is in the grass. In the dirt there. Uh... Lost several positions from P4, goes to P11, down the order. And we have a driver that is slightly off, and that is Tyler Anderson from P8. He's going to drop down a couple positions, maybe not too many. Paolo Langer's right there next to him. Eddie Layton, actually. And Paolo Langer went through. And now he's going to have to really struggle with that one. As we have Noah Hoskinson has to defend against Colin Walker just right behind him. Gannon, who was P14, the relative has not updated just yet, but 
We're looking at a driver that's fighting for P12 right now. Kyle Anderson holds that car right there. And he's going to be able to do it right here, right now. That's we'll jump on board. Now on the only straight way to go, Patrick Gannon has made some overtakes already in this spot. Is he going to do it again? Goes to the inside, but really just lifts off there. Does not make it happen. Nothing out of them yet, but look in the background. There's Paolo, it's Patrick Gannon who finally makes a move. And that, these red cars look so similar. Uh, that was Patrick Gannon who finally overtook Tyler Anderson for P, uh, P12. Nothing but clean racing there. I believe that's Andrew Korostecki and Justin, or Justin Karp. Battling it out there for P16. Andrew Corsecki gives him plenty of room, but stays on the outside. Andrew Corsecki keeps P16. Actually, oh, he was battling for that. Justin Carp loses P16. And there's Chris Lambeth in the background. Maybe he's going to try to make a move there. Oh, no. And that is Noah Hodgkinson off. And hopefully he can get that back on track. Uh, that is... Um, Fortunate. Drops down the order from P8. And back on board, we have Trey Mistak who's holding P3 at the moment. Aubrey uh, Gondal just behind in P4. And a little gap is formed between these drivers as well. Coffee is in P5. Craig Carroll is in P6. And Craig Carroll looking very strong in that Porsche. Uh, previously, I believe he's in the Ferrari. And uh, definitely looks like he's having a way better run of it in this car. Paolo Lanker is going to try to scrap back to the front of the pack. His P8 was P10. Took two positions there. One of them on merit. And the other one, a driver fell out uh, into Pat Patrick Gannon overtaking Eddie Layton into that corner. Patrick Gannon now into P10. Solid position for Patrick Gannon to put himself in. He's at the back of the grid in P22, now up to P10 already. This driver needs to maximize some points to stay close to Matt Shack in the championship as he is just behind him by like 30 to 50 points, I believe. Somewhere in that regard. Yeah. This. Tyler Anderson is on the hook. Layton crossing over to Paul Lucker. Oh, Patrick Gannon right at it again. Is he going to be able to make a move? gets a little bit ambitious there eats a lot of curb it's not going to help his chances but maybe he tries to make a move down the Ullman straight whoa and in the background I think that was uh, I can't even tell anymore but somebody definitely did not take that corner uh with due caution, is a wide angle there and a very tight angle for Colin Locker trying to defend a little bit. And here we have it again as they go side by side. Patrick Gannon trying to take P9 from Colin Luckers. Is he going to make the move into this corner like he did the last couple of times? It seems to be a favorite spot for him. We have a driver of Tyler Anderson with a headlight missing. A uh, little black and orange flag for no meatball for that one. Not yet. 
probably going to make it more difficult to race in these type of conditions. But as long as it stays, you know, on the heels of Eddie Late, I think it's going to be just fine. In a move, I thought that would have happened already. It's not happened just yet. Patrick Gannon is well on his way to making that. It's only separated by two tenths. Just a matter of where he's going to make that move. On track right now, these drivers are the closest drivers to each other, with the exception of Eddie Layton and Tyler Anderson right there in the background. They are the ones battling it out as everyone else has formed a nice little gap of a second to each other. Especially at the top 10, I would say, minus uh, Colin Luckers and Patrick Gannon. Is this the run he was looking for this time? Down the start straight finish. He goes to the outside. He's going to try to make that move. On the outside. It's not going to have a great spot, but no, maybe he cuts back to the inside here. Finally goes for it and makes it happen. He's passed people here before. Oh, no! It's Colin Luckhurst. And Patrick can't in touch, and he rolls onto the track. And he just taps him a little bit. He thought he was fully clear, and he wasn't. And from P10 down to P18, he goes. You hate to see it. That was mostly clean. The 20 seconds that Patrick Gannon just lost there is another 20 seconds he's going to have to crawl back and hopefully make maximize his position as he can. That is definitely going to be a hard task to do. Um, I think we'll see him hopefully make some inroads shortly, but that is not going to be good as Eddie Layton is now stuck the task of overtaking Colin Luckers himself. And that kind of bunched these drivers up a little bit. Colin Luckers did not get out of that unscathed. Kyle Anderson able to get closer on the back of Eddie Layton. interesting to know what the drivers are thinking in regards to that. Um, whether or not Colin Luckers or Patrick Gannon uh, would be upset. Uh, it'd be just an incident. You never know. And they might walk away from it uh, without any animosity. As we have Eddie Layden have Four tenths off of on Luckers. He's had Paolo Langer is about four tenths off of Andrew Kirk as well. I'm going to pop over that one real quick. Andrew Kirk, a driver I've not seen before, has joined the league and uh, is putting in a good pace. His last lap was a two minute point seven. And Paolo Langer's was a two minute point six. But, as you know, when you're sitting in the draft and the driver, you get a little bit extra out of that. But, I mean, still good, consistent pace, race pace. And, as it stands, the driver with the fastest lap is... Before I call that too soon, I believe it is Trey his stack With the 2 minute point one three five, 
Matt Shack has not been able to. Oh no! That I was looking at the wrong numbers there. Matt Shack has the has the fastest lap at this moment in time, one fifty nine point eight. Oh wait, close, close. Patrick Gannon is just behind Matt Shack by a couple of thousandths of a second there. He's the fastest lap. He's definitely going to be trying to go for it now. Um, put in a move already on Sean Hamilton. Uh, so P17 is where he is at currently. And he's about... About 7.7 .7 seconds away from Chris Landon. He's definitely going to have to keep pushing. I'm going to pick up some more positions as he can see. Trying to do the mental math here, folks, but he's got a lot. He's got to make up at least another 16 seconds to get to P13, even. Uh, that's a lot. That's a tall order, especially when we're almost halfway through this this race. I have to try to make up some moves during the pit stop. That would be my my, my guess there. I'd maybe go for a longer stint, overcut a bunch of the drivers. I think that's the best he can hope for. As we have Eric Rodriguez and Justin F. Scott, only separated by three tenths here, four tenths. Fighting for P12. Let's see, where did. Eric Rodriguez start to keep 15 he's up to position, so I would say that's a pretty good pretty good result. Just ahead is Tyler Anderson. Those two drivers in P11. Gets off of uh, Eddie Layton. Uh, does have some minor damage to his front right. I don't know if that's going to be affecting his ability to pass uh, the Mercedes of Eddie Layton. And they're still together. So looks like it. it Eric Rodriguez wasn't able to make anything happen just yet, but Andrew Korostecki, his teammate, right behind, out on the heel is about 4.3 seconds back. Try to make some, something happen there. Because that gap was 7.7 .7 seconds, it's now only 4.6. You can see Patrick Gannon uh, is going to claw his way back to the top of the grid. No matter what. And Andrew Kirk is now caught up to Craig Carroll. Paolo Langer just behind. Definitely be seeing an overtake happen shortly. Or a really rapid defense from uh, Craig Carroll. It's hard to say. One of the community leaders, Craig Carroll, is a very fair driver as he goes off on the grass a little bit. Uh, doesn't affect him just yet. I don't think it slowed him down too much. As, uh, Andrew Kirk did not make a move. Goes for the move now, though, as they're going to be going side by side into sunset. But. Ooh, it's not sure. He's still there. Oh, he slots in behind. Andrew Kirk is able to make that happen. And Paolo Langer also looking to have a beat of this. Is he going to beat? Nope, he is not just yet, but he is super close. Craig Carroll there. Craig lost one position. Shouldn't want to 
stem the bleeding by losing two, and Colin Walker is just in the background there, only separated by 1.6 seconds to this group here. And Nick502, thank you for the follow. Uh, Metal hand, Head Andy, thank, oh, thank you also for the follow. And Sam Welker, I didn't see that one, thank you for the follow. And Three Beeps, uh, that was a couple hours ago, but before the stream started, but thank you everybody for uh, follows and supporting. And here, an interesting news outside of this action is Tyler Anderson is the first driver to go into the pit lane to serve their first mandatory pit stop. Could that be the trigger for some of these drivers to make uh, going in and trying to go for an undercut? On board with Paolo Langer. Definitely going to hopefully get himself a good exit here and try to go on the attack. Is Craig Carroll going to defend? Sitting in the slipstream of Andrew Kirk. And there goes Craig a little bit wider on exit. That might be his flaw there that happened last time and he's been already overtaken and there goes Paolo Langer for that overtake for P7 and is Craig here going to try to go back at him and no and there goes Chris Lambeth was P 15, Patrick Gannon overtakes him. That's a couple more positions for Patrick Gannon. Uh, he's got about a 2.1 second gap to Justin Karp. Uh, that will be for P14. Oh. Oh, no. Andrew Kirk went off. Was P6 down to P9. Oh, and there goes Eddie Layton. Is he going to make a position here? No, Andrew Kirk defends. He was briefly ahead of him. But it is not enough. And I think Andrew Kirk is going to be able to hold this position for now. One mistake could really drop you back that, that far. And... Uh, up goes several drivers. Paolo Langer into P6. Uh, Craig Carroll into P7. Home Lurker. Lurker's also benefited from that as well, going to P8. And now it just comes down to Eddie Layton. Is he going to try to take P9 from Andrew Kirk? Kind of pokes his nose in down that inside. And in goes Colin Luckhurst and, and, and Andrew Kirk. They have, are opting to pit. And that will be two drivers in the top 10 that uh, hold the switch. Patrick Gannon crosses the line. He goes to P12 off of that. But we know he's going to have to make his pits up as well. I was kind of betting on Patrick Gannon going for an overcut, and that might actually be the case. Um, looking at Joshua Grasso here, he is about 3.1 seconds back from Matt Shack, but Trey Mistak has kind of closed the gap as well as Aubrey Condal has also done the same. Uh, just getting there, he's only a couple seconds off of these drivers. He's got one lap car of Gary Schilling between him, um, but it's definitely making it happen. Trey Mistak is only six tenths away. Now 
on board of it, uh, Noah Hodgkinson, who has not gone into the pits to serve his mandatory pit stop just yet, or maybe he already did based on the damage that he uh, took there. Um, stint of 12, though, he has not taken, not gone in just yet, so he is, while he is battling Tyler Anderson there for uh, B15, he's going to have to go into the pits, uh, pits and make a spot there. Oh, Kyle Linder goes through, because we have Will Coffee going into pits to service man toward pit stop. It's another position for Paolo Langer. Uh, and Justin F. Scott, Eric Rodriguez, P8 and P9. And Will is still in the pit lane as Andrew Korstecki and Patrick Gannon cross through. Andrew Korstecki was bat, uh, has Patrick Gannon hot on his sights. They're both on the same stint right now. Neither one has gone in. While Patch Cannon has made a good amount of positions from P16, uh, 7, 16, uh, it's going to lose several once he goes in the pits to serve himself. But this is definitely going to be one for position even after he goes in the pit lane. And there goes Andrew, uh, Patrick Cannon on Andrew Korstecki. Easy move down the inside line. And maybe Andrew Korsaki was opting to not defend too hard. Uh, these drivers are paced a little different on the last lap. Patrick Cannon did one one fifty nine two, and Andrew Korsaki did two oh one six. And oh. Noah's popping out just now. Steve McAllister retakes a position, and that he goes to P sixteen or sorry P. 18. Just Carp sitting in P17. Tyler Anderson and Colin Luckers are battling it out. Remember, serves me correctly, these drivers were bunched up together. Colin Luckers on the back end of Tyler Anderson. I think that pretty much makes sense there. And there it goes. That is the whole grid of the top drivers coming into the pit lane as we have Paolo Langer in P1. And a lot is shaking up here as Eddie Layton, another driver still a knock on in. He's going to P2, Justin F. Scott to P3, Eric Rodriguez P4, Matt Shack coming out in P5, Joshua Grasso coming out as well. And Trey Mistak also coming out. Aubrey Condal's coming out, Craig Carroll's in the pit lane still. It was Andrew Korostecki and Patrick Gannon in P12. He's going to be losing a couple positions here as they all make that change. It'll be interesting to see how much of a difference that made for some of these drivers. And there goes Andrew Kirk in P15, P13 actually. Patrick Gannon is 6.7 seconds back. Now back on the track. I think that actually served him well. I think Patrick Gannon was able to benefit off of overextending himself. As he served his mandatory pit stop. He's now sitting in P14. Uh, one position ahead. Uh, there's two positions ahead of where he was previously. Uh, with only a 6.4 second gap to Andrew Kirk. We can definitely see him shrink that up a little bit. Um, not too bad. Everyone has made the moves. We have Eric Rodriguez back in P4. P1 through P4 have not made the switch just yet. Paolo Langer leading the race. Is he going to be going in now? And he goes in now. Eddie Layton. Interesting to see what happens here. Matt Shack is hot on the heels. Is Justin F. Scott making the same move. They are all making it together. And there goes Matt Shack. Lost the lead of the race for his pit stop, but we can definitely see he's going to be right back into P1 as he crosses the line from P5. Taking P1. And 
Joshua Grasso. Back to P2. Trey Mitzak in P3. Aubrey Kundal also putting into P4. Will Kofi. Coffee. I should say Will Coffey is into P6 where he uh, initially uh, was. Paolo Langer just behind him though. These drivers are going to be battling it out for position. And Tyler Anderson not on an outlap but definitely serving him right there as he has Eddie, Eddie Layton behind him and Tyler Anderson goes to P7 Eddie Layton behind with Colin Luckers also battling out and Craig Carroll also right there in P10 benefiting from this by the way Craig Carroll was P12 and Andrew Kirk made a move on these drivers earlier and is now sitting at the back behind them. are seeing one driver we're gonna take a look right here is uh Stephen Gallister was one of the last he is the last driver on the grid to serve as mandatory pit stop and while he was p19 he dropped back to the 21 there showing those through is Craig Carroll Colin Luckers are battling out for p9 at the moment and Craig Carroll is ahead of him going into sunset and it looks like he's going to be able to just take that cleanly as he's already built a slight gap there to Colin Luckhurst. But, oh no, he's coming back around. It's quite not over. It's definitely not over yet. Definitely see going into turn three and four whether or not he's going to be able to hold this. Given, drivers giving themselves plenty of space. And look at Andrew Kirk trying to make a move as well. And then he has that good position there but they're still going side by side in the next couple of corners oh my is Craig Carroll going to be able to hold this it looks like he is he's on the inside already he's definitely going to he's got Colin Luckers in his rear but is Andrew Kirk going to be able to do anything about this oh and Craig Carroll goes wide he definitely had to make a little move there Now Andrew Kirk goes through. Andrew Kirk up one position. Craig Carroll made a very good move down in the first couple corners and he just, just lost it a little bit. Slowed him down, not unable to kind of hold it there as he eats up a lot of that curbing there. But he's not out of this just yet. He's definitely going to try to fight back. He knows he has the pace. That's definitely evident. He's definitely making the moves. And so does Andrew Kirk. Colin Luckers is going to have to do his best to hold off these two Porsches that are right behind him. And that was some good, clean racing down those first couple corners there. Really tight. And look at that. The switchback as Andrew Kirk might be going through here. Craig Carroll just in the rear view there. As they go side by side into turn one. Just a repeat of what happened last lap. Colin Luckers keeps that good defense and is able to hold on to it. And there is Patrick Gannon has overtaken a couple other drivers now. And he's sitting on the heels of Craig Carroll. That is insanity. The man. Oh, there goes Andrew Kirk. Is that his moment? He 
just as a little peek around there, this driver was knocked back to the back of the grid from P10, and he's already back. He's already almost there. A couple positions back to where he was battling out uh, Kong Luckers. And there he goes through. Craig Carroll loses a position, but actually, no, I think he's able to come. I think he's coming back here. And he, yeah, he able to hold it. Craig Carroll with an amazing defense and attack. He's holding back Patrick Gannon, who's definitely trying his best to just make a clean sweep to overtake. It. And this is slowing them down slightly to that group just ahead as those drivers definitely are pulling away by a couple seconds. Oh, 1.3 seconds, actually. Patrick Gannon is able to now hold that down the Omen straight. Craig Carroll unable to come back at him on that one, but Patrick Gannon into P11. And what a what a great racing here we have from these drivers that are sitting here at the top of the top of nah, not, top of the top ten is what I should trying to say there. As Andrew Kirk definitely wanted to make it P9 right here. It's only separated by a couple tenths. He has been back. Oh, this looks like he goes a little wide there. Yeah, that re definitely washed him out a little bit. Lost three tenths into that corner. But a driver who is not losing any time and has been pushing. And actually has the fastest lap, I believe. On the grid. Gonna be going side by side with Andrew Kirk. Make this overtake. And it's very clean. But I think Patrick Gannon wants to make this real quick so he can get right back to Cone Luckers and, over and see about battling him out. Uh, these two made contact earlier in the race. And there goes Patrick Gannon ahead of Andrew Kirk. But Andrew Kirk is not done just yet. This driver is very scrappy. Definitely seeing that out of him. And there's Craig Carroll in the background pulling closer to those drivers. And that goes, there goes P10 for Patrick Gannon. Really stemming the bleeding here. Trying to maximize some points after he's sitting in P2 in the championship. And there goes Craig Carroll a little bit wide there. Definitely going to ruin his chances. Definitely lost a little bit of time. And on board with Trey Mistak. Only three tenths down off of Joshua Rosso for P2. These two are definitely going to be making things interesting for the end of this race. For the last couple laps. But here's P2 in the championship. He's already back. At, it took him most of this race, folks. But from P10, or actually from the back of the grid, starting in P22, fights his way up to P10, takes P9 briefly from Colin Luckers as they had a bit of an incident and is now back hot on the heels of Colin Luckers again. How is he going to be able to pass him? And is Colin Luckers going to be a little bit more fair? As you can see, he just washed out a little bit there with the rear spin of those tires. Don't know if that's going to necessarily cost him too much. But you hope that this next time that they, that Patrick Anning tries to go for this move, that there isn't going to be another set of contact happening because that would just be devastating. Not only for Patrick Gannon, but for both drivers trying to be as clean as they possibly can as they're about to go side by side. And he wobbles a little bit. And through he goes. Patrick Gannon makes a move over before the Omen straight. And he is blasting on by. And Andrew Kirk is in the background. What is he going to be able to do here? 
it looked like he was a little bit closer to Colin Luckers. Colin Luckers unable to defend there against Patrick Gannon's very, you know, very solid moves. P9 for Patrick Gannon is he's got a full 5.5 seconds to Eddie Layton that he's going to have to make up in the span of three laps. I don't believe he's going to be able to do it, but uh, that is a really good result for him as Craig Carroll and Andrew Kirk are going side by side into turn one. Can Craig Carroll make a move happen? He's been very racy tonight. And Eric Rodriguez in the background as Andrew Kirk defends very well. Oh, no! Yikes! Oh! That is awful. Justin F. Scott goes through. And... Oh, no. As they are... Andrew Grostecki goes through. Eric Rodriguez trying to hop back into the... He was an innocent bystander in that mess. And Craig Carroll loses one light there and definitely a smashed up rear end as Justin Carp overtakes Eric Rodriguez for a position. Um, oh no. And that is Andrew Kirk. Definitely damaged. Um, no words. No words there. Uh, as Chris Lambeth goes through and Noah Hoskinson goes through and down the order plummets. Yikes. Well, it was mostly clean there. I mean, clean as far as the clean can get. Uh, just a little bit of a mix up there. Cars going a little too close together and things happen. Steep. Joshua Grasso overtakes uh, Stephen Callister and Trey Mistak also goes through. That is uh, a lap car not trying to get in the way of a battle for P2 and 3. These drivers are separated by still about 6 tenths. Joshua Grasso holding on to that spot. Unable to make inroads though to Matt Shack, who's about a full 7 seconds ahead of him. Um... Rodriguez in the pit lane. Noah Hoskinson is battling is that Chris Lambeth for P. I don't know, P. A lot of those drivers that went into the pits, um, fortunate. Uh, Noah Hoskinson goes to P16, Chris Lambeth to 15. It's unfortunate Andrew Kirk was having a very strong race in the top 10. Uh, definitely pulling his way I haven't seen him in the league before, but definitely going to be interesting to watch him further on. It's just sometimes, yeah, that's racing. It's unfortunate. But Noah Hoskinson is only three tenths away from Chris Lambeth here. Because we have uh, a few more laps, I believe, to go. And that is a blinking. Chris Lambin. And Porsche seems to be the favorite of basically everybody. It was previously BMW, but it looks like that isn't the case. I mean, literally everybody's running a Porsche. I would say 80% of the grid, maybe 70% of the grid. So, maybe you see that right there. Joshua Grasso goes faster on this last lap. But who holds the fastest lap at the moment in time? That is going to be uh, Patrick Gannon. No. Yeah. 158.9. And Eric Rodriguez and Andrew Kirk are back out on the track. Andrew Kirk is sitting in P18 overtaking Andrew, uh, Eric Rodriguez there. 
And Sean Hamilton is definitely not... That's the driver I was thinking of. Who's actually next to... Uh, that's Justin F. Scott and Craig Carroll. Go on. Okay, I believe this might be the final lap here as we have Joshua Brasso. Actually pulls it back. He's only 5.5 seconds back. That's actually an improvement. He was 7 seconds back. And he's definitely trying to claw, but with one lap left to go, I, I don't believe that's going to be the case. Um, that is the white flag. And we have one lap left. See what changes in the order. Trey Misek is only half a second behind. Six tenths, a little different. It's changing, but it seems to be the ebb and flow of these two drivers here. And while I spoke too soon on Patrick Gannon here, he is definitely on the heels of Eddie Layton, whether or not he can make a move with one lap to go. That'll be interesting to see if that comes about. Definitely going to stick on this for a little bit longer as these drivers, same thing can happen. Uh, only four tenths behind now. Doesn't make anything happen here in this couple of corners. It looks like there goes Matt Shack down the field and straight. Joshua Grasso keeping it nice and tidy here through these corners. Um, this will be his only attempt to get by. That Lambo is clawing closer and closer. Is he going to be able to make something happen? As Matt Shack takes the checkered flag, and he is going to be P1. There's no doubt there for some people, and that is P1 for him, P2 for Joshua Grasso, and P3 for Trey Mistak. As Aubrey Condal takes P4, Paolo Langer goes to P5. Patrick Cannon might get this overtake happening down into the final corner. Eddie Layton, oh, he had to lift a little bit. And there goes Patrick Gannon overtakes Eddie Layton for P8 off the, that final corner. Will Coffey takes P6. Tyler Anderson takes P7. Eddie Layton into nine. Colin Luckhurst takes P10. Justin F. Scott goes to P11. Craig Carroll takes P12. Andrew Korostecki takes P13. Justin Carp. Looks like no one's around this driver. He's going to be taking P14. Chris Lambeth into P15. Noah Hoskinson in P16. Uh, Steve McAllister in P17. Andrew Kirk in 18. Eric Rodriguez in 19. Already taking the flag. Sean Hamilton in P20. Gary Sherling in 21. David Gauntlet in 22. And Miller Dorajo in 23. Uh, what a fantastic end there. goes through and celebrating in fine order as Sean Hamilton is the last driver to be crossing the line here but sticks with it and that will be it folks thank you for watching and we are going to be going to Spa for round seven 
uh, and that will be next weekend uh, on Sunday. Same time, 9, 10 Eastern is when qualifying starts. We started a little bit before that just to get everything uh, rolling. Uh, appreciate you watching and following. Um, we do have some league changes happening with some of the multi-class uh, coming about. So stay tuned for that. Uh, join the Discord. and Yeah. See us next week. Thank you.